can be seen beyond the horizon. In a very clear air, you could see two or three hundred kilometers. In fact, um, there have been documented cases where someone has seen a distance of 500 kilometers and actually recognized the object they were looking at. But because the light rays are bent, the image is distorted. I believe in the very early times, the mirage would have been interpreted as being some kind of magical display on the horizon. The hunters finally have hope of reaching land, but they have no way of knowing what the land is or if they'll survive long enough to get there. Exhausted, the group drifts for days. Malnutrition begins to take its toll. But carried by the ocean currents, they are about to make a great discovery. Finally, after months surviving on the frozen ocean, the hunters have arrived in the new world. <sighs> but where exactly are they? These are the Grand Banks. 17,000 years ago, this was the easternmost tip of North America. Today, these islands are submerged because when the ice age ended, billions of gallons of ice in the polar caps melted. Sea levels rose almost 500 feet. The entire coastline of North America was pushed back 100 miles. But for the hunters, the Grand Banks were a gateway to the New World. Their ocean voyage of more than 3,000 miles was at an end. But their discovery of the New World had just begun. The land holds the cure to Giard's illness. This is scurvy grass. Ice Age people knew its medicinal qualities. The stems are rich in vitamin C, exactly what Giard's body so desperately needs. The young hunters are recovering from their odyssey at sea, scavenging what food they can find in the barren landscape. Guyan! Guyan! 
Moment. Ich kann mir Willi dies. Back home in Europe's harsh environment, mammoths were dying out. But in North America, the mammoth thrived, feeding off extensive grasslands. Such a beast was more than just a windfall supply of meat and hide. It was the ultimate hunting challenge. The mammoth was sacred to the Ice Age clans. Of all the land mammals living at that time, the mammoth was the largest. Standing up to 11 feet tall at the shoulder, weighing up to eight tons with 12 foot long tusks, it would take special hunting skills to kill such a beast. You just hit a mammoth with everything you have and you don't kill it, you wound it and you follow it for days until it finally dies and then you dispatch it. The young hunters are eager to try and kill a mammoth, but they have a serious problem. Their seal harpoons are useless against such a large animal. They need spears with razor sharp points, but they don't have the right stone to make them. To find the right stone in this unfamiliar land will require detailed exploration. In the Ice Age, people traveled hundreds of miles to quarry the best rock. The newcomers have no choice but to journey into the unknown. But are they up to it? Let's go. 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 Let's go.